I, I want to give you some nightmares, so... Ooh, my sniper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I took a bit of a hit there. Um, and I think that's my turn. Uh, so yeah, I got two vipers. Name them Kowalski and uh, Jawaya. And I've got uh, two other aliens, which I think you're about to see. Oh, chrysalids. Yes, chrysalids. Ooh. Have you met them yet in the in the campaign? Not not in this one. I mean, I know the I know the story of the chrysalids anyway. Oh wait, no, I have yeah. seen one or two fl flitting around. I thought chrysalids are one of these uh, creatures that either. You kill them outright at the maximum range that you can, or they come in and <laughs> yes. decimate everything. Uh, and I think yeah. I wiped them out at the maximum range and didn't really get to experience them, you know? So I think I know what my first move is going to be, and I'm hoping it's going to be the one that can change this go for my favour. Uh, uh, no, not okay. that one. Over here, I hope. Oh, it's still not as good as I want it to be, but we're going to try. We're going to try. Okay, that did one of the things I wanted to do. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait until you see that to hear your reaction, <laughs> and then hopefully, this would also, Mister, Mister Badass Arthur himself. <laughs> oh, when you thought that, oh. it was a miss. <laughs> oh, so you did some damage. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, and Mister Badass Arthur, did he? Did he miss? Oh. He did. That is most unfortunate. And now I'm trying to move the shield for Baron. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you can give him a bit of shield, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, we can't. Not close enough. Not close enough, and we can't even come over here. Okay, so. Well, we're going to have to do things like this then, aren't we? Um, which is not the most descriptive commentary I've ever given in my life. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be said. Yeah, probably. Okay, I'll know when you kill the Andromedon because you're going to get a bit of a surprise when you do. Yeah, I should have moved Arthur. Should have moved Arthur. All right, here comes the surprise. Oh, is Arthur dead? Arthur's dead. Oh, how wow, a reboot. Okay, wait, how is Arthur dead? What have you done? Oh, no, no, he's not dead. I was, I was like, is he dead? <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Okay. Um, so yeah, so the alien inside dies, and the suit itself comes back to life. It loses wow. its armor though, so it's uh, it's a hell of a lot easier to kill, and it can uh, yeah, and it, it's it's technically a, a robot unit now. Okay. So technically, cool. I do have robot units. I'm just gonna, I probably shouldn't tell you that, but yeah, it is a robot unit. Um, so can, I feel like I should help you here. Is there something that can be saying done? that you've almost killed my Andromedon, and you've got. A I uh, only killed two of yours, so I think um, it is about time that your Arthur died. <laughs> um, it is about time, but we'll see what's going on there. We'll see what's going I'm on. I'm still waiting for your shield bearer to fire at my Andromedon on my end. Still hasn't fired yet. I should, yeah, so I guess he fires and then... yeah. But I'm not going to go for Penguin Punch again, because I'm pretty sure that it, it doesn't work on mutons at all. Um, oh, that that would be unfortunate, actually. Uh, I thought I thought it was just occasionally they counterattack, but I'm pretty sure they always counterattack. Maybe so. Oh, yeah. That's a, a nice little thing to bear in mind for any other multiplayer maps I play. <laughs> yeah, I guess they're, they're good melee units. They're good. Yes, yeah, so it comes back to life. Oh. Captain Beardy is also Captain Beardy's dead, but his power Captain Beardy is technically dead, but his power suit lives on. He lives on with his memory. Exactly. Oh, healing your team. I see. I thought it would be a, a bit of a wise move. I, I would have liked to have moved Arthur now that I think about it, but yeah. yeah how did your Hindsight. muton heal? How did you heal your muton? Does he automatically heal every turn? No, no, no. I've got a... So the guy that uh, that uh, you're saying is a hacker isn't actually a hacker. He's my secret medic. That's, uh... Oh, <laughs> okay. I see. A bit of a <laughs> game's afoot. Yes. Okay. Okay. So wait, so... Isn't that a bit of a waste of a medkit healing him for one, though? Ah, uh, so I did the restoration that goes around and does all my dudes. Ah. Which is right. quite nice. Right, so this thing can't use a gun. It can only punch. Oh no, really? I well. don't know if... I don't know if mutons... Now oh. seems like a perfect opportunity to find out. I mean, it, it couldn't I'm not possibly sure if I lose want to, you though. match. To be honest, I am terrified about those chrysalids. 
Uh, I really don't think I can melee attack. Uh, this muton. It's the only way I'm really going to kill him. So, you know what? Go for it. Go for the Vist Strike. Let's see what happens. No, he always counterattacks. And holy crap. Um, well, that's a bit shit. Damage. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that they could do that. Okay. Um, well, that's pretty shit. Um, so I'm going to make you pay for that. Well, to, to be honest, this is the only way I'm ever, ever going to have any chance of actually winning, is if you uh, commit a series of, like, fatal errors. <laughs> yeah, um... Well, I'm going to make your sniper pay for that. Oh, no, not my sniper. Actually, not my sniper, please. <laughs> I should probably should have shot your sniper first, then I could have... Uh... Oh, never mind. I could have uh, turned it into chrysalid spawn. Oh, that, would, that, that, that wouldn't have been spawn? fun. That wouldn't have been fun no. at all. That would have been very fun. Could have created more chrysalids, actually. Um, mm. Actually, I probably should have done that. Oh, oh well. This Captain Could have created Mindfire more chrysalids. Again. Oh, I'm just witnessing the punch. Oh, well. Oh, that counterattack really does. Oh, yeah, benefit doesn't... of hindsight, I really, I really should have I should have used the chrysalid second. Then I could have created chrysalid babies. Oh, oh well. Left my screen. Ooh, not liking that hit on my uh, my sniper. Yeah, oh, I should have, I should have shot your, should have shot your sniper first and then gone for it with the chrysalid and I could have cocooned you. Waste. Big waste. Based of an opportunity. Now I could have created more chrysalids! That would have been amazing! Wait a second! Oh no, no! Yeah, yeah, I can! Because if it hits her once, it's, she's infected with chrysalid poison. So if Ooh, she dies. Oh, just watch her get it, take the blaster oh. in a chest. Oh, Twitchy, prepare to say hello to my chrysalid babies. Oh no! <laughs> 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 you maniac! Oh, I didn't realize that. So it, as long as the chrysalid hits them and they're infected with chrysalid poison, as soon as they die, Say hello to my chrysalid children. Oh, that that that's that's oh. horrible. Dirty, underhanded tactics. <laughs> I would say I would have thought better of you, Penguin, but I, I know this is pretty much a case in yeah, point. Yeah, I'm <laughs> quite perfidious as Tate likes to say. <laughs> you have shut down my Andromedon, though, so yeah, that that puts things a little more in your favour. Yeah, but I have a chrysalid amongst my guys. So that's <laughs> I've never known this to go well. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'm pretty sure I can take out that shield bearer um, with some chrysalids. So, right, I'm just watching your turn now. Okay, well, this is gonna. That counter attack though, I, I yeah, um, I didn't realize that every time you melee attack from the counter attack, I thought it was only a chance, but it turns out it is every time. Yeah. Okay, right. I wish to get to a more defensive position. Hmm. Or do I just want to do this? says it could do it. <clears throat> oh, you've actually turned the tide quite a bit, actually. With my ah, big celebrations I had in Twitchy Central. Oh dear, what, what <laughs> done? <laughs> oh dear, what's the leader done? Okay, now where are we going to send this guy? Um, I'm waiting for what you've done. You've probably killed Captain Beardy, haven't you? I I, I have. I, I'm sorry to say it, but it no! just had to be done. <laughs> he shall be remembered forevermore. Oh, well. Poor Captain Beardy. He served as well, though. He did annihilate two of your dudes, so... He did, yes. And uh, he certainly distracted you while I moved my vipers and my chrysalids around the side. So... And now you've got chrysalids and you've got a chrysalid cocoon to deal with, so... Mm, yeah, no, it's definitely going to be an interesting one to try and deal with. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how long it takes for chrysalids to, uh, to gestate, I guess. And I'm hoping at least three rounds. I'm really hoping at least three rounds. If it's next round, I'm, I, I might as well just fold in the town now. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, in the campaign, the only time I've encountered a chrysalid cocoon, and they, they take a lot of a beating, but I managed to take it out the turn it was created. Oh, okay. Uh, even though it took all of my moves, I managed to do it. Just about. Unfortunately, um, I'm feeling a little bit pinned down with my other guys. <laughs> Apart from Arthur, who's just out being a badass. In his tight green spandex. Uh, okay, so yeah, it's a tight green spandex. He's a, he's, a, he's a secret superhero. Ooh, you shot my Viper. That's just rude. 
Yeah, not quite the damage I was hoping for. Um, close though, damn close. Mm. I'm just looking at something and all I can think is phallic much. But I'll move on from that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, here we go. I got my units back. Okay. This this is the one I'm worried about as I indicate to all my viewers. <laughs> there should be another one somewhere, right? Yeah, here. Say goodbye. Oh, god damn it. You didn't die. Oh, this is good news. Rejoice. Question. Are chrysalids immune to poison? Oh, this is a very interesting question. I don't know. If I had taken a chrysalid, we could have found out. That, that's a, that, that would be a bit of science where I'd be like, I'm willing to yeah, well, uh, sacrifice this. There we go. Was it fine? I'm going to hope they're immune to it. <laughs> it surely, Go for surely. I mean, if their skin contains their blood... Uh, it appears they're immune to it. Okay, yeah, well, it would make sense. It would make sense. Yeah, they're immune to it. Yeah, they're immune. Uh, oh, that's annoying. You can't slash a muton. You can only shoot them. Oh, this is good. I like this. Yeah, like he is, they, are, they are definitely they're immune to uh, poison. Oh, 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 that looked painful. Uh, I'm not going to like this. Oh, Viper jumps down. Chrysalid cocoon. <gasps> oh, 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 they're little hello. babies. <laughs> Chrysalid children. Oh, no. <laughs> hello. Oh, oh, it's going to keep spawning them as well. It's going to keep spawning them. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is so satisfying. It can spawn up to several, apparently. <laughs> up to several. <laughs> up to several. Um, yeah, okay, your turn. Uh, I think... Um, so I've you watched your Viper go. Yeah, Oh. So I'm now watching your chrysalids come in for the attack. Yeah, um, you've got a bit of a problem, Twitchy. Yeah, I know, I see this problem going down here. Um, I'm using your sniper to birth my children. This is you could probably win with an entire team of chrysalids, actually. Yeah, yeah, I bet I bet you could actually. You could just get in there and start taking out the weak ones. Mm. Oh, turn it. I think aliens are probably the best bet. I think you went for too many advent, too many boring people. I was aliens just to make up the numbers at the end after I'd taken like the people that I actually wanted. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Right, your turn. Well, thank you very much. For Let's the turn and the beating. I mean, like, oof. <laughs> so I lost uh, Captain Beardy, but um, I'm pretty confident that... Yeah. Well, given, given my expectations coming into this battle, I am proud of myself for taking out Captain Beardy. That, that yeah, was that like, was quite good, yeah. Yeah, good there was a big, big general. I went and took him down, and now I'm being mobbed by all the... Uh, all the foot soldiers. <laughs> yeah, all the, all the penguinauts. <laughs> the chrysalids are named after Kerbals, whereas uh, the vipers are named after, obviously, Kowalski and uh, Jawaya. Then, obviously, you've got Captain Beardy. So, yeah, my Kerbals are apparently multiplying. <laughs> uh, saying that, they managed to reduce, they managed to replenish their numbers pretty quickly in the astronaut complex. So, they must get up to something. In oh, yeah, there, there's either some sort of budding system or just don't ask what they really get up to in uh, mission control. <laughs> oh, wow. I am surrounded by chrysalids. You are very much surrounded by chrysalids, my friend. Uh, there's not a great deal I can do about it. Um... Run away. This is my plan, but I'm trying to see if there's somewhere like nice I can run away to to put down some fire. You know, something funny. Tape and I actually uh, just nabbed uh, XCOM UFO Defense, you know, the original. Oh, yes, yes. Both grabbed it, and we're both going to play a run through, um, you know, next to it, you know, simultaneously and see who can get the furthest. But apparently, the chrysalids in that are absolutely terrifying. Uh, they nerfed them a lot in Enemy Unknown. And I think the main thing was the two movement system, which they had to reach you, they had to. Um, to attack you, they, had, they couldn't dash. Whereas now yeah. in XCOM 2, they've fixed that. So they got like a slash attack. So they can um, they can sprint and they can attack. And they've got chrysalid poison. So I think they're much upgraded. And I think this is what they needed to be in uh, Enemy Unknown, actually. Mm. <clears throat> um, yeah. Whereas the Mutons, the Mutons have got a totally different focus. They're not tanks anymore. They're 
basically rangers, they're alien rangers. Yeah, yeah, no, I'd noticed it. It's, it plays a little bit different than I was expecting to. Mm. Um, oh, Far more wow. agile, not not the big tough infantry anymore. Um, that's mainly just just humans, uh, upgraded humans now. Oh, my hit chances. Oh, what are these? Well, it is my only option of surviving this. Ah, oh, by making the way, the, dance uh, and nothing more. The chrysalids Sorry. birth the chrysalids birth from the from the cocoons have got much lower health. Uh, oh yes, so I see. So I see. Just, oh, I should have gone for him. Yeah. Reduce the numbers. I was just trying to trying to make a tactical retreat whilst also trying to make my <laughs> way onto the roof so I can like deal with it. It's not really happening. I've got to say. Uh, yeah, they've got lower health, um, which I only just noticed. I wonder why some had lower health in uh, in the campaign. Actually, now I know, obviously why. Oh, so now you... your guy is immune to poison. That's yeah, interesting. One of them is, yeah, my medic. He appears to be completely immune to it. I just ran over it and every, everything was fine, yeah. which, which was nice. Which was nice. Yeah, it's a nice, nice bonus. Uh, my shield bearer, unfortunately. Very yeah, much feeling so much. the fact. He has got a shield, though, so... And Arthur's just running his stumpy little legs outside trying to, trying to get there. <laughs> it's a shame. It's a shame, but... Every day when you're walking down the street... <laughs> and everybody that you meet has an original point of view. And I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. <laughs> the Arthur Thief Jude. Oh, I loved Arthur when I was young. I love it. Ooh. You know what? We still haven't actually talked about Clubs of Warfare yet. No, we oh. haven't. Like, we're... we're... We, we don't need these conversations. We're too engaged. We're too we're too, engaged far too engaged in this life or death battle. <laughs> exactly. I think we probably should, just just to satisfy Just a little people. bit. I, I think we need to talk about like how we're going to, uh, to split up the Tapag and Arch Alliance. Uh, it's it's ah, far too strong. Right. It's, yeah. They're well, probably too... watching this video, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> well, that's it's it. I mean, we, our plans are so above theirs that they, could, they, can, mm. they can hear our plans. We're fine. We're fine. They're less. They're less. Friend they're more of a, an alliance of convenience <laughs> than we are. We're, we're actually, you know, buddies. Yeah, yeah, try and work together towards a common cause. Who are they're just yeah. like trying to keep their own lands. Yeah, yeah, they're just sort of just. It's just like, oh yeah, one less person to deal with, sort of thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Whereas we're actually helping each other out and stuff. Um, I'm not liking this viper's hit chances. I was kind of hoping the viper wouldn't have much to hit, <laughs> but. Ah, uh, Arthur. Oh, Arthur. <laughs> Sorry, Arthur. I don't have great hit chances on Arthur, so I'm just going to... Uh, he's only got one hit point, though, so it, yeah, it, it so could be a... Dead, well, one armor as well, but I think it's over pretty quickly. Ooh. What a ninja. Oh, Chrysler Cocoon. Okay, so I can only spawn two Chrysler's, I think. Okay, all right. That, that, that's not that's not so OP. I can... Yeah. Uh, I was about to say I can deal with that, but obviously I can't. <laughs> Yeah, it says it can spawn up to several, I think. But so I think it depends. It's just kind of random. Yeah, right. Um, Gen, Gen's a random number to begin with, and that, there you go. Yeah. Ah, oh, so I've got two guys <laughs> cowering behind benches, waiting for those chrysalids to strike at the moment. <laughs> Not the best kind of. Oh, I forgot about his Overwatch. Ah, oh, good. I forgot about that. I, yeah, good. I was hoping. Benches. I was hoping. And he missed. <laughs> Vipers are very stealthy, so. Uh, yeah, I, I had no. It's a bit hard to uh, to pin them down. Go for a tongue pull. Oh, here we Just go. Vipers are moving on my screen. I uh, missed. Oh, Arthur's been poisoned. He has been poisoned. Apologies. Oh, the worst type. Uh, so my medic's still alive. Well, I don't know if he's still alive. Wow. He, he he dodged that one hit. He dodged one, yeah. Um, still alive, that's... Uh, Bit of an assumption. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to make the positive. Sorry, Karen. I'm just saying that's that's quite an assumption to make. <clears throat> yeah, I, I I like to make the positive assumptions just so you know I, I feel good about my life that's coming up ahead of me. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you can have a few more chrysalids on your hand. Just saying. <laughs> ah, ah, not, not the best. <laughs> not the best. They're in such a good grenading position, though. Like, you could probably wipe them all out with a, with a couple of grenades. Like, all of them. And the, and the cocoon. I, I think the only one that's carrying grenades is, uh, is Arthur. Uh, yeah, and I may have used, used it, his. <laughs> chrysalid Swarm. <laughs> it's definitely oh, an entire a team of chrysalids. That would be great, actually. That, that, that is definitely a tactic to use, yeah. They cost so little as well. Like, Vipers cost 1,500. These things cost 1,250. 
Okay, yeah, that's that's nice. That's nice. Um, I mean, they're, they're, you can if you can pick them off at range, if you can snipe them, you can usually take them out with one shot with a good snipe. But once they get close to you and they start taking out, they take out like at least one guy, you're just screwed. They just mm -hmm. own you. Yeah, no, I'm watching that happen right now. Did you ever play um, Enemy Within? Uh, uh, was the Within the expansion? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, no, that. unfortunately I didn't. Um, I, oh, I got to it a There's a, a mission. Late. Yeah. There's a mission on that where you go to a dock and there are chrysalids in every single fish. And oh, you wow. don't know. Right, so you move through this, this, this fishing village and everybody's dead. And then you get to the end, and then chrysalids burst out of every single fish, every single body, like millions of zombies, they just jump out of everywhere. And there's a massive chrysalid nest which spawns two a turn. Oh, wow. And you have to plant explosives on it. And, oh my god, it is just the, it's an amazing mission. It's really, really fun. Just nothing but chrysalids, but, um, holy crap. Sounds like intense. an absolute nightmare. Like, yeah, int it's, intense and oh, tactical. Oof. It's really creepy as well because it's a night and everything and they're jumping out and they're running around. It's, oh, it's so creepy. I lost my entire star squad apart from one person, which is myself. I sacrificed everyone. I sacrificed my mech trooper. Just, I ran him out of cover and stuff just so um, I could save myself. <laughs> the went after him. So I lost, I lost uh, five of my star people and I just had myself left. Uh, after that Arthur just succumbed to the poison. <laughs> yes, um, he did. Poor Arthur. Oh, God. He's in a bit of a weird position on my screen, actually. Oh yeah, he's kind of splayed out a little bit. Um, yeah. He's just opposed. I think he could have had a future in model modeling career, actually. <laughs> he's definitely got oh. that catwalk strut, hasn't he? Yeah, uh, I, feel, I feel sorry for him, actually, for, for, for killing him. I feel bad now. The I'm only good... option available to me is just this last pathetic stand in a doorway. <laughs> 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 I'm going to have to at least try it. Uh, oh, God, and my best hit chance is 40. Wow, it's all over. <laughs> <laughs> I started this with five units, and now I've got I've got six. Oh, I at least <laughs> took one out at the last second. My last ammo, last chrysalid. Now please do come and end it. <laughs> <laughs> it was some good ta tactical uh, uh, training for me, you know. That was, that was good, actually. I think we need a rematch. You need, some, you need a, a different squad, certainly. Oh, definitely, definitely. I, I, I'm more than up for the rematch. Um, but you should ask the comments. You should ask the comments what they, um, what they think you your squad should be. I'm pretty happy with my squad actually. With what with Captain Beardy and my Chrysalid Infestation. Um, yeah. I have very much like guys. If you wanna, if you have any ideas, anything that you think is better than this mismatch <laughs> of things that I threw together at Penguin today, please do just give us a shout down in the comments. That that is definitely something that I really need to to hear <laughs> mm. <laughs> i mean it, I, I made sure that before we played this game i just binge watched not binge watched binge played a load of xcom 2 so i made sure i knew what all the enemies could do apart from the muton i was a little surprised by uh, by that counter attack there but um yeah i think i did have a bit of an unfair advantage and i didn't realize the chrysalids could reproduce at this rate yeah no it's definitely what i like i i I'm thinking definitely on the next match, I will field at least one. Um, it's be chrysalid action. Wait, can you make cocoons? Can you, can you make chrysalid can cocoons out of chrysalids? That that is a mm, question. That'd be interesting. Like just two two chrysalid empires coming up against each other. <laughs> that would be quite funny, actually. Uh, that, I, I could get into that. Yeah, yeah. No, you killed one of them. Did I? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, when it plays it. out, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what? On a, on a counter-attack? <laughs> no, of course, it's what I did. <laughs> uh, yeah, because it's only just showed up on my screen. Which one did you kill? You killed one of the Kerbals. Uh, I did. I did kill a Kerbal. He, he was weak. I swooped in there while I could. Oh. Not Opportunistic target taker me. Yeah. I'm still waiting for it to give me my turn. Even though you can't take any, any more moves. Yeah, no, this Damn is it. It, it hung up for me for a few minutes as well. I like, just like... I'm done now. Could you be done? <laughs> so it was just sat there. In the meantime, um, maybe we should tell some, give some people some spoilers on, on collaborative warfare. <laughs> um, I hear the moon's nice to visit. This, this is this is what I'm hearing. <laughs> uh, my 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 tourist advisors have come to me, and they've been like, you know, <laughs> the 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 next wave of the whole, the whole tourism bubble. It's happening on the yeah. moon. That's the place to be, of course, because I wouldn't be. be going for any nefarious reasons. Oh no, of course. I mean, see how many chrysalids I can birth. <laughs> there we go. Spawn another one. 
Just erupting from the stomach of your uh, of your healy person. Just, oh no! Oh, that that that's so bad. So cruel. So cruel. <laughs> okay, that one missed. Wait, which Kerbal did you kill? To I'm see not which sure. Which, which... Um, I just want to select this one. Yeah, it's not going to let me click on him, unfortunately. Uh, you killed John B. You bugger. <laughs> <laughs> John B, take it. <laughs> one of my favourite Kerbals as well, it has to be pointed out. That, that is one oh. resilient little green ball. He is, uh, he he is very he is very nice, yeah. I mean, who would have who would have thought that he could have survived the, uh, the turret that he was strapped to being blown up? I know, I right? I would have um, thought he'd have been a goner at that point. Yeah, well, your shield bearer's... Um, oh, he... is he gone? <laughs> is he going the way of John B? He's gone, like, the worst way you could go. Being eaten alive by Chrysalid. Um, well, there we go. Um, <laughs> that was our match. You killed Captain Beardy, and that was about it. But... I, I did, yeah. And, and John B. Captain Beardy, John and B. And John B. Yes, and John B. Sorry, yes, of course. You killed John B as well. Um, so you killed Beardy and John B, the two important ones, I guess. Um, and if people have watched to the end of this, I'm going to give you a little bit of spoilers, as well as the moon being nice to visit. Can't talk today. Uh, as well as the moon being nice to visit, the uh, <coughs> the future is also quite nice to. Uh... Well, actually, no, the future is not very nice at all, actually. So uh, people from the future like to like to you know, emigrate back, spend a bit of time on the moon because it's kind of sucky in the future. Wouldn't you agree, Twitch sheets? It, it's oh, quite... It is very very bad in the future. It's very bad in the future, yeah. Very bad. If only there was some way to fix how bad it is. It, it would be nice to be able to somehow go up and clean up some debris that might be lying around making it worse. Oh, Yeah. And there we go. I've got an achievement as well. The most dangerous game. Well, there we go. That was Twitchy V the Beardy Penguin. That that was a brutal defeat. I, I'm literally just <laughs> watching the, the the final death throws happen here. It's all playing out at the last second, and there we go. It's all over. It's death. Ah. Well, sorry about. Sorry, I ate your entire. Well, I pretty much ate your entire squad, didn't I? Uh, to be honest, I would like to thank you for the opportunity to to, to take this beating. Um, <laughs> more to more to work on my tactics and see where where the flaws lie. Um, okay. Just in my gameplay, I think. <laughs> so I ate three of them. I poisoned one, another one, and I acid melted another. That, these are not very good ways to go, are they're, they? They're not. Out of all the ways I could think to go, like I think a bullet to the face would have been the best. Not melting my face. <laughs> How did you kill? My, yeah, you killed mine just entirely through shooting them. So I uh, think shooting I'm a and the bayonet. Oh, uh, and the bayonet. Of I did impale there a we few go. people. Well. Awesome. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Yes, indeed. Thank you to everyone out there. And, of course, thank you, Penguin, for in inviting me along and oh, having this fun time. Thanks for joining time. me. Uh, bye. Bye.